I'm here today in the great state of Alabama. I'm here with a local farmer, Farmer Frank. How's it going, Frank? Man, it's doing good. It's doing good? Well, what's, uh, what's life been up to for you right now? Life's been doing pretty good, except for the other night. What happened the other night? Okay, well, hear me out. I was driving down the road over yonder. And I done seen me a UFO go right overboard. I'm like, oh shit, Earlene, look over there. And she's like, what's that? And I'm like, that's a goddamn UFO. A UFO, you say? True story. I ain't lying. It was huge. I mean, massive. This thing must have been about three pig pins wide. It was massive. Three pig Pig pens, you say? How how big is a pig pen? Man, come on. A, a pig pen is about four cubits wide. So we're looking at about 23 cubits. Oh, all right, we will. There we go. go. 23 cubits wide. Uh, but that's not where the story oh, ends. Oh, okay, okay. What happened after that? All right. So Earlene's like, you better not drive over there. And I'm like, shut up, woman. This is my car. And I drove over there. We get up there, and uh, the UFO, it was hovering above him, right? All right. So it comes down into my cone field. I'm like, hey, aliens, what you doing? That's my cone field. Ariel Lee's like, you better leave those aliens alone. I'm like, no, woman. They're in my cone. How am I supposed to feed my chillings? With my cars all messed up and it's all laid over. I was getting pissed. Earlene, she at this point, gets out of the car, walks around to my side, and begins to kick me out of my car. I was like, woman, this is my car. Get the fuck out of my car. And needless to say, she don't trip and hurt her head on the sidewalk. I ain't do it. I'm telling you. Anyway, I'm digressing. Let me get back to the point. I go over to the cornfield, and these aliens, they're about three feet tall. Or, you know, two cubits. Short. Whatever. You know, whatever it is. Anyway, they run around my corn like, blah, 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 blah. And they're just throwing stuff around. And they're mashing my corn now. They're making all kind of symbols and stuff. I ain't having that. I was like, no. Get out of my car. And I start kicking them and kicking them. And those damn aliens, they didn't know what to do. They can't speak my language. They don't speak American. And I'm like, hey, get the hell out of my car. Earlene, she's done got up at this point. She runs over there. She's like, you better leave those aliens alone. Those little chillings. And I'm like, hey, get the hell out of that woman. God. And I kicked her too. And those aliens, they done took me on no ship. Right on no ship. I don't know what happened then. I gotta tell you this. Woo! That sounds uh like an eventful uh, night. Uh, I guess we will end it right there. But uh, yes, that's uh, Farmer Frank from the great state of Alabama. Roll Tide! Uh, yeah, roll back to you, Chuck. <laughs>